Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Import Export Hub channel everybody. Bryce Bogdan here, your host for the next uh, couple of minutes. Thanks for joining in. I hope you've enjoyed your summer holidays and uh, skimming, skipping the small talk here. Allow me to jump into the tables here. As I have prepared the imports and the exports for the Republic of Moldova with uh, 2022 as the reference year if you want. But as usual, before uh, diving in, some quick facts about uh, Moldova. So according to the World Bank, it has a GDP of uh, roughly $14.42 billion, in which uh, industry has a share of roughly 20%, agriculture 18 and uh, services, the rest of uh, 62%. It has a population of 2.6 million inhabitants. It's a member of WTO since uh, 2001. And it has a place, like any other country, a lot, a lot of uh, free trade agreements. But the most important ones, uh, if you ask me, being those uh, signed with the European Union and Turkey. It uh, also benefits quite a lot from its proximity to two large economic uh, blocks, the European Union and uh, the former Soviet countries, so the Commonwealth of Independent States. And lastly, guys, in terms of uh, logistics performance index, the Republic of Moldova has an average score lagging in terms of uh, customs and infrastructure. So these were some quick facts about uh, Moldova. And now, guys, I will tackle the tables here. And as usual, I've prepared the uh, overall exports and imports in order to see the main uh, sectors, the performers. While uh, afterwards, I've selected the top five sectors uh, from each flow in order to see also the main trading partners. And starting here with the overall exports, we see that in 2022, we have roughly $4.3 billion worth of exports, some 38% uh, more than in 2021 with uh, the mineral uh, fuels driving most of the exports, some $592 million. On the second spot, we have uh, Chapter 85 with uh, $535 million, while on the third spot, we have Chapter 10, so cereals with some $409 million. And uh, lastly, the top 10 list uh, finishes with Chapter 70, Glass and Glassware, with almost $115 million worth of exports in 2022. These uh, top 10 chapters make up for roughly 75% of uh, Moldova's overall exports, uh, moderately concentrated if you want. And we see that uh, except for chapter 22 and also chapter 92, uh, 94, sorry, who had contractions, the rest of them had uh, positive changes. The largest one, at least in absolute terms, happening in relation to the mineral fuels and the oils chapter. But uh, let's face it, this is a temporary situation as it has to do with the war in the neighboring uh, Ukraine. And uh, this uh, sector, guys, is not the only one benefiting Moldova as uh, the construction materials sector, so uh, chapter 25, uh, benefited as well but this is another story anyways coming back to the table here in terms of uh, compound annual growth rate uh, for the last uh, five years and ignoring chapter 27 i think that uh, the most uh, promising for the next uh, five years are chapters uh, 10 12 and uh, 15 these uh, last two heavily dependent and reliant on uh, sunflower as you will see in the following minutes moving now guys to the import flow we see a totally different com composition of imports here uh, if i'm not mistaken only chapter 27 and uh, 85 are common for both flows meaning that uh, this lack of intra-chapter trading is gener uh, dangerous as um, there are not a lot of value-added activities being done in Moldova. And uh, if you ask me, that's a recipe for stagnation, basically. And I won't get uh, through all the top 10 chapters here. You can pause and uh, see for yourselves. But I will focus on the balance of trade, which is negative, as you can see. And unfortunately, we don't see even one sector of uh, Moldova's economy in this top 10 list having a positive balance of trade, 
which is a sign of a lack of uh, competitive advantage. Now, guys, moving uh, to the top five sectors from each flow, I will begin with the top performer from the export flow, so uh, chapter 27. And as you can see here, there is not a lot to talk about as uh, Ukraine was the main partner in 2022 with a whopping $588 million. While in the previous years, we see that uh, the exports were not exceeding the $10.5 million mark. And as I've said previously, it has to do with the war in Ukraine, basically supplying Ukraine with the much needed uh, petrol. We can see some uh, sporadic exports uh, towards, I don't know, Serbia in uh, 2018 and uh, 2019 or uh, towards, um, I don't know, uh, Georgia here in uh, 2020, some $4.8 million, but uh, mostly this is a cross-border trade with Ukraine and uh, Romania with uh, low volumes up until 2022. And uh, if you ask me if it weren't for 2022, this chapter wouldn't have made it uh, to the top uh, 20. Anyways, uh, moving now to chapter 85, which is de facto the real driver of Moldova's exports, we see that in 2022 we have some $535.5 million worth of exports, which is 1.8% more than in 2021. With Moldova here, the Czech Republic and uh, Germany as the main partners, which were followed by others like, I don't know, Italy, Hungary or uh, France, to name a couple from this top 10 list. Relative to the year-on-year -year changes, we have a 50-50 split between a positive and negative change. On the negative side, in absolute terms, Germany had the largest change, while on the positive one, the Czech Republic saw the largest absolute change, some $17 million more imports from Moldova in 2022 relative to the previous year. While in terms of the main drivers, we see that for both uh, the Czech Republic and France, we have the same heading, uh, 8544. So we are talking here about insulated wire, cable, and other insulated um, electric uh, conductors. Jumping now to Moldova's uh, third largest export driver, we have here uh, Chapter 10. So we are talking about cereals with some $409 million worth of exports in 2022, which is uh, $42 million more relative to 2021, with Romania, Turkey, and uh, Switzerland as the main partners, which were followed by others like, I know, Italy, Lebanon, or A Egypt, uh, again, to mention just a couple from this top 10 list. Mm -hmm. Uh, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, we see that the exports uh, towards Romania reached almost $178.5 million from an insignificant $34 million in uh, 2021, so some $144 million uh, absolute positive change. While on the contraction side, uh, Switzerland, the host of major commodity trading companies, um, had the largest absolute negative change, some $54 million. While in terms of uh, main drivers, we have here for both uh, Turkey and Switzerland uh, the same heading, uh, 1005. So we are talking here about uh, maize or corn. Jumping uh, now to Moldova's fourth largest export driver, we have here oil seeds. So uh, chapter 12 with uh, $393.2 million worth of exports for 2022 with, uh, again, Romania, Bulgaria, and uh, Turkey as uh, the main partners, which are followed by others like, I don't know, Poland, Lithuania, or uh, the Netherlands, uh, to name just a couple. Relative to the year-on-year -year changes, we have $135 million more exports overall from this chapter, with uh, Romania alone contributing with almost $129 million to this uh, performance. 
Relative to the main drivers, we see that for both Germany and Poland, we have the same heading, 1206. So we are talking about uh, sunflower seeds, whether or not uh, broken. And guys, if you remember, this is where I've told you that uh, this chapter, together with the next one, are heavily reliant on sunflower uh, seeds. Now, don't be fooled by the numbers for uh, 2022, Moldova didn't become a major exporter uh, all of a sudden, but it benefited from the proximity of Ukraine, which in uh, 2022 exported a lot of its sunflower seeds uh, as uh, the hinterland logistics were compromised and unable or uh, refocused rather on other vital aspects. And basically they've choose to export sunflower seeds and not crushing them in um, Ukraine in order to, or to, uh, to obtain uh, oil. And uh, here Moldova, along with other more or less neighboring uh, countries, benefited from this context. And another chapter that uh, benefited from uh, this uh, context is the next one, so chapter 15, in which, again, we see a huge absolute positive change of some $255 million relative to 2021 which translates to some $376 million overall exports in 2022 with Italy, Romania and Iran as the main partners, which were followed by others like uh, Bulgaria, Portugal or Germany. And uh, as in the case with the previous chapter, Moldova is not a big player in terms of uh, sunflower seed oil exports, but rather a temporary export platform for uh, the Ukrainian companies. And my guess is that Ukraine already retook control of most of their food supply chains. And uh, if you ask me, I don't think that we will see the same numbers coming in 2023 for Moldova. Anyways, uh, moving now, guys, to the import flow. The top performer is uh, Chapter 27, so mineral oils and fuels with uh, $2.5 billion worth of imports in 2022, mostly from Romania, the Russian Federation and India. All these uh, making up for roughly 80% of uh, Moldova's overall imports from this chapter, but uh, we see that we have uh, second tier exporters as well if it was Moldova in this top 10 list, and I'm talking here about Bulgaria, Kazakhstan, or I don't know, Turkmenistan. Uh, as for the year-on-year -year changes, we, we have almost 140% positive uh, change relative to 2021, which uh, translates into some $1.5 billion, uh, thanks to the strong export performances coming from Romania, and oddly enough, the Russian Federation. As for uh, the main drivers, uh, Indian uh, businessmen uh, saw an opportunity and became traders in uh, petroleum oil, so heading to 710, while from Ukraine we have electrical energy, so heading to 716. Moving now to Moldova's second import driver, we have here Chapter 84, electrical machinery and equipment with almost $756 million worth of imports, which is 12% uh, more relative to 2021, with uh, China here, Germany, and also Romania as the main partners, followed by others like, I don't know, Hungary, Italy, or uh, Vietnam, again to mention uh, just a couple. As we can see, the overall year-on-year -year change was positive with only three countries from this top 10 list experiencing uh, contractions. So I'm talking about uh, Ukraine, which let's face it, it's understandable, Poland and also Vietnam, the latter having also the biggest absolute negative change of roughly $11.6 million. While on the opposite uh, type, uh, side of the table, if you want, we have uh, China here who managed the largest absolute positive uh, change of around $44 million. And I think that for uh, the time being, it will uh, act also as an important um, import gateway for Ukraine. Now, in terms of uh, main drivers, main import drivers from this uh, chapter, I've added two examples here, as you can see, and uh, we have uh, China and Hungary, and for the former, we have uh, heading 8517, 
and we are talking here mostly about uh, mobile phones while from the latter we have insulated wire and cables so heading 8544 moving now guys to the third most important import driver for moldova in uh, 2022 we see here chapter 84 with almost uh, 653 million dollars worth, worth of imports which is some um, seven million dollars more in absolute terms relative to the previous year and we see here that uh, china germany and also italy were the main partners followed by others like i don't know poland france or the united kingdom the last one managing to export towards uh, moldova some 11.5 million dollars worth of goods from this chapter in what concerns the year-on-year -year dynamics, we see again almost a 50-50 split between positive and negative changes. And I'll mention just the performers from each side. So on the negative one, we have the Russian Federation with a contraction of around $28 million. While on the positive side, we have uh, China with some uh, $24 million expansion. As for the main drivers from this chapter, we have um, heading 8433 from Germany, so harvesting or threshing machinery, while from the United Kingdom we have uh, self-propelled bulldozers, uh, graders and other special purpose uh, machinery, mostly coming from uh, one company, if you ask me, from the United Kingdom, which is JCB. Moving now to Moldova's fourth, yes, fourth um, largest import driver. We see here chapter 87 with almost uh, $630 million worth of imports with Germany, China and the US as the main partners. <coughs> Sorry, but of course we have others like, I know, Japan, the Czech Republic or again the United Kingdom. This uh, last one with some 22.5 million dollars worth of exports from uh, this chapter towards uh, Moldova and as we can see here except Turkey who had 29% uh, contraction the rest of them had positive changes the largest one happening in relation with Germany who managed to export with some 27 million dollars more relative to 2021 as for uh, the main drivers no big news here as we have for both the united states and japan uh, passenger vehicles so we are talking about heading 8703 and lastly guys uh, the fifth import driver for uh, 2022 was uh, chapter 39 plastics and articles uh, thereof with almost 372 million dollars worth of imports which translates into some $1.9 million more in absolute terms relative to the previous year. And as we can see here, Germany, Romania and China were the main trading partners, followed in this top 10 list by others like, I don't know, Turkey, Italy or Bulgaria. This uh, last one managing to export from this chapter almost $7.6 million worth of products. Now, in what concerns the year on year changes, we see a small 0.5% positive change. Mostly it has to do with the fact that this is a mature market with uh, four countries managing contraction while the rest of six uh, manages the positive changes. The biggest absolute positive change happening in relation with uh, Turkey who increased its exports uh, towards Moldova with some $8.5 million uh, relative to the previous year. As for uh, the main import drivers from this chapter, we have uh, tubes, pipes and hoses coming from uh, Romania. So we're talking about uh, heading 3917. Well, from Italy, the main driver was heading 3901, so polymers of ethylene in primary forms and uh, guys with this last uh, chapter being uh, covered as well that's um, all for this episode i hope you've liked it i hope i've managed to provide you with some useful information don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe buttons and as usual until next time keep your business safe thanks